Welcome back to Casino Guitars. Jonathan here. Today we have got a couple of Martin guitars that we're going to do some comparisons on. Uh, the two guitars I've got are the Triple Lot 15, the M and the SM. Uh, in my opinion, those are two of the best values in totally solid, solid wood, made in America acoustic guitars going today. They're two of my favorites. They're favorites here in the shop. Mm -hmm. And we're going to look at the differences in, you know, the one, the, the, the Triple Lot 15M that I'm holding right now. This is the Triple Lot size, sort of your auditorium size. Um, super popular, all mahogany. But like most acoustic guitars, it joins the body at the 14th fret. Uh, has your regular old headstock. The other one we're going to look at in a second actually joins the body at the 12th fret. So if you've heard people talk about 12 fret guitars and you didn't know what that, that was, that's what that means. 12 fret guitars join the body at the 12th fret. The neck is actually the same length, it's just kind of smushed into the body. And it does some things to the tone and more importantly, in my opinion, the feel of the guitar. It, it changes the way the strings feel, the slinkiness. So we're going to play them both, talk a little bit about both of them, and uh, let you see, you know, and may hopefully hear uh, the differences in, in two guitars that are virtually the same, other than one being a 12 fret and one being a 14th fret. Um, so let's, let's play this one. This is the non-12 fret. This is the regular old Martin Triple Lot 15M. So there's, there's your triple off 15, no 12 fret here, just, just good old sort of Martin triple lot sound. Uh, this guitar, you know, it plays fantastic. This honestly is a particularly good one. As soon as we'll pull this one out of the box, they're, they're all good. We never get a bad triple off 15, but some of them just have that extra magic. This one sort of seems to, um, it's just a great playing guitar. There is a lot of, you know, fair amount of string tension. Um, this guitar has got a, it's, it's 25.4 is the, the, the scale length. Um, now on this one, the, the nut width, if I'm not mistaken, is 1 and 11 sixteenths. Um, all those things are going to change a little bit and, and contribute to the feel on the 12 fret version. Um, but this one sounds great. It's a great finger picker. I like it for that funky stuff. I was doing it's just it's just a good guitar but let's switch over and talk about some of the differences with the 12 fret so this is the Martin triple lot 15 SM the S actually stands for slope shoulder so slightly different body shape but the thing you'll notice right away is it's got a slotted headstock now when you have a 12 fret guitar and, and the neck gets moved into the body the strings are gonna get slinkier there's less string tension uh, just because, you know, everything's kind of smushed together. The slotted headstock actually gives you a little bit of string tension back. It puts more force on at the nut. This is a wider nut on this guitar. This is a one and three quarter nut. So a little wider, maybe a little better for actual finger picking kind of stuff. Um, this guitar, one of the cool things about a 12 fret, because it's got, it's a little slinkier. If you're having hand problems or, you know, maybe you get to the point where, where, playing heavy strings on an acoustic or wearing your hand out, or maybe 
you know, maybe you're getting a little older, there's some arthritis stuff going on. I think these 12 frets are phenomenal because I think they, they put less fatigue on your hand when you're playing. And I love them for blues stuff for that reason because I can bend way easier. Same gauge string, still, still 12s on both these guitars. But on top of that, on top of the feel, the, the slinkier feel, there's also a bit of a different tone. This guitar should be a little warmer. Um, it sort of changes the focus of the mid-range. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to start off with a little with finger picking a little bit on this guitar, just so you can hear hear that, because I think it's it's definitely suited to that. So that's the 12 fret. If, if you want a guitar that feels a little slinkier, if you want a guitar that's easier to bend, or if you want a guitar that is, is maybe easier on your hands when you're pushing down or trying to play some of those, those blues licks, this might be the guitar for you. A 12 fret might be something to consider. Obviously there are 12 frets in lots of brands. Taylor makes some fantastic 12 frets that have a really good feel. I love the feel of those. Um, Things that might keep you away from a 12, a 12 fret guitar. Obviously, you're a little limited. It's hard to get up past the 12 fret, you know, into your higher range. So it takes a couple frets away if you're the kind of guy who maybe you're you're gigging and you're playing lead on acoustic, um, and you want to be able to play some of your bluesier things up high. Maybe a 12 fret's not the way to go. I find that never bothers me because sort of the meat and potatoes on acoustic are in the middle, you know, sort of the fifth. 
through the 10th fret somewhere. So that's, that's where I find myself living, playing lead on an acoustic guitar. So I'm, I'm rarely bothered um, by the, the sort of lack of access up high. They do make, especially Taylor makes a great cutaway 12 fret. So that's something to maybe look into as well. Um, if you're just a strummer, you know, you're strumming, you want big punchy open chords, you're not as worried about, uh, you know, being warm or, or bending strings, maybe 14th fret is the way to go. Um, but that being said, they're both fantastic choices. They're fantastic guitars. They're just different. They serve different purposes. Uh, I like them both. Uh, I think they're both good for different things. So if you can't get here, if you're not near us, go to, go to your local shop. Find some 12 frets, play them, can compare them to similar guitars, see what you like, see what you don't like. Uh, and we would love to hear about your experiences. Try them both out in the comments. Uh, click like and subscribe so you can see more content from us. We're putting more videos out every day. Hope you have a great day and we'll see you next time.